Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to kind of film a self-care routine after a long day in Florida heat. So I start this process by removing all the makeup that I wore that day. Now moving on to the part that a lot of people find painful, but it's honestly one of my favorite parts, which is waxing. These wax strips are honestly my favorite. They're super easy to use. You just rub them together, slowly pull them apart, place on your leg, and rip them off. I honestly enjoy waxing a lot better than shaving because my hair grows back a lot slower and a lot thinner, and I don't itch nearly as much as I do when I shave. And honestly, you barely have any ingrowns. After waxing, I just wipe my leg with an oil wipe to ensure that I remove any excess wax that I might have left. So when waxing under your arms, y'all, it's a really sensitive area, so it's really important to not overdo it. When I first started waxing, I used to go over the same area like 10 times, and now I only limit myself to about three times, and if I have extra hair, I will go ahead and pluck it. Trust me, y'all, it is not worth ripping off any kind of skin. Lately, to start off my shower routine, I've been using an exfoliating glove. I feel like it gives me a deeper, clean, and smoother skin. The Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Smelling Soap has had me in a chokehold for the last year, y'all. I literally love this soap. It'll have you feeling super fresh and super clean. After using Dr. Bronner's, I go in with a second wash, which is dedicated to honestly just making me smell good. In this video, I'm using a coconut scented soap from Bath & Body Works, but honestly, it don't even have to be from Bath & Body Works. I can get it from Walmart, Target, just any soap that smells good. After singing and dancing in the shower for about 15 minutes, I exfoliate my skin using the Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub. Since exfoliating, I've noticed a big decrease in body acne, more specifically back acne. It's evened out my skin tone and helps unclog my pores, which really helps with ingrown hairs. I'm not gonna touch on this topic too long, but ladies, make sure you freshen up. I don't know who told you that you gotta use five different soaps down there, but you don't. Water will do the job. And if you want a little extra clean, you can use Dove Sensitive Skin, but don't, don't put it up there though. Using the Olay in shower body lotion is probably one of the most soothing steps in my routine. It makes my body feel super smooth and moisturized. Right out the shower, I go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. I mix it with baby oil, and y'all, this is the best combination ever. It will have your body feeling so smooth. You will go to sleep feeling smooth, you will wake up feeling smooth, and you will literally go the whole day feeling smooth. And of course, y'all, we can't forget, don't be nasty, okay? Brush your teeth before you go to sleep. I know I'm kind of late to the game, but this TheraBreath mouthwash is literally the best. It says no bad breath for 24 hours, and they mean it. I've had a few people ask me to make a video dedicated to my skincare routine, but that video would be so short because I barely have a routine. All I do is wash my face with the Dr. Bronner's Baby Unscented Bar Soap. They also have a liquid soap option, which honestly I prefer, but the bar soap also does a job. I 
After I wash my face, I moisturize my face with the Fruit of the Earth Vitamin E Cream, and that's literally it. This is honestly a step that I forget way too often that I've recently been making more of a conscious effort to do, especially while I have this protective style in my hair. I don't really know if this does anything, but in my head, I like to think that it does. So right before I go to sleep, I normally just put a little bit of oil on my cuticles. Finally, right before I go to sleep, I always like to spend some time with God. It honestly just relaxes me and puts me in a much calmer state to go to sleep. And that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.